Hey nerds, what's up? Welcome back. In today's video, it's gonna be a pretty short one, but a very important one. I'm going to show you how to set up NTP in vCenter 7.0. This is applicable, by the way, to older versions as well. But that said, it is something that I do not find very intuitive. The very first time you do this, it's not super straightforward. The good news is once you've done it, it's really easy. So let's jump into vCenter and I'll show you how to do this. All right, so here we are inside of vCenter. Now, the first thing I wanna show you about setting up time in vCenter or NTP is that you don't do it from this vCenter interface. To drive that point home, let me go ahead and I've selected this vCenter. Let's go to configure right here. And all I wanna point out is I want you to look right here for something called time configuration. And if I scroll down here, you see there's nothing. When I first started playing around with vCenter, I spent probably way too much long, more, more time than I want to admit, trying to figure out how to set up NTP in vCenter. And it's, it's just simply not here. So the way that you set up NTP in vCenter is you actually need to navigate to something called the vCenter Server Appliance Management Interface, I believe, or server vCenter Server Management Interface, something like that. Anyway, it's, accessible by typing in the FQDN or the IP address of your vCenter, and then also appending port 5480. So if you do that, we hit enter, we get what looks very much like the regular login prompt, but it is not. So the login here is actually going to be root. It is not going to be your default administrator at vSphere.local account. If you try that, it will just fail over and over. So we're going to select root and then type in our root credentials for vCenter. All right, so this should look a little bit different than what you saw previously. Now, if you get in here and you scroll down, you have this section called time. You'll go ahead and click that. And here we go. So you see right here, it shows time synchronization. Mode is currently NTP, I have configured it. And time servers, I have time.google.com. And I have a green check showing that I am able to reach that server. And more importantly, I can see that this time is correct. So that's really all there is to it as far as how to set NTP in vCenter. So I hope you found this useful. Until next time, stay nerdy. Oh, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That's important.